Scientific estimates often place their strength at around 6 to 10 times that of an average human male. They can easily snap thick bamboo stalks, something a human would struggle with immensely. Their bite force is equally devastating, estimated at around 1,300 psi. That's stronger than a lion or a great white shark. When a gorilla charges, it's not just running. It's a 400-pound battering ram moving at speeds of up to 25 miles per hour. 100 men. The classic version of this debate specifies average men. We are talking about a random sample of the population. The average man's strength is a fraction of the gorilla's. Our bodies are built for endurance and versatility, not for overwhelming force. Most modern humans have never been in a true life or death fight, especially not against a wild animal. Fear is contagious. Cooperation requires communication, leadership, and a clear plan. Among 100 strangers, in a state of sheer panic, establishing that level of coordination would be almost impossible. The gorilla charges. The hundred men, a disorganized mass, react with a mixture of bravado and, honestly, terror. Would be swatted away like flies, their bodies broken by the sheer force of the blow. The hundred men would cease to be a single unit and would instead become a collection of individuals, desperate to survive. The gorilla would have successfully defended its territory and the legend of its power would be cemented in the minds of any survivors. But what if we change the variables? 